Maybe it's good, I would say, good reading project to quickly skim through the one is projective bundle theorem, K theory of finite fields, and Gerstin conjecture for K theory. And try to see how far people know about this thing now. Yeah. So that's it's like more modern. Yeah. And then today, what I would be doing uh, would be these foundational results, these four foundational results. And then fifth one is kind of a quick, this is part of it, a quick application of how these apply to kind of give us something concrete. So, additivity theorem and resolution theorem, they are in terms of eject categories and Debesage theorem and localization theorems. So, these two are in terms of abelian categories, and then one mixes them in different ways to extract what one can yeah, about K theory of schemes or uh, things in general schemes as far as one can yeah sorry about the interruptions in now yeah. so let's start So last time we had also defined this G theory of rings, so I wouldn't recall that anymore. So K theory was defined in terms of this exact category of finitely generated projective modules, and G theory was defined in other in rings in terms of finitely generated modules. Okay. And usually we have this situation, which is which is the one which allows us to look through different things. For example, replace one category with another, possibly smaller, to get K theories, maybe the same K theories. So, situation is this, let's say. So, we have some small exact category. And let's say we think of it as a full additive subcategory of some abelian category with which is extension close. So subcategory of an abelian category. So then we can make sense of uh, complex edging here, eject sequences, long eject sequences, short eject sequences, all those. So we look at short eject sequences of objects from C. Okay. So what do we do? So let's say we denote by this S C. The category of complex and short complex. So this is short complex. In fact, eject short eject sequence complex and the part short inject complex sequence. Yeah, so these are it's a M prime and zero, where all these objects are in C. Yeah. So okay. so one can turn this this C. Itself becomes an exact category.
So objects are complexes like this. Yeah, let's say we do not write it as E. Complex, chart object complex like this. So this is chart object complex in the so it's eject in the bigger abelian category A, and objects are actually in C. So then this becomes an eject category with this notion of ejectness. So we have complexes here. So objects here are complexes, and morphisms are various competitive diagrams. Yeah. So this becomes an eject category by let's say by taking yeah sequences or maps of complex sequences. Let's say zero to e prime. So now this is some complex e to e prime prime. So, I'll, so this, this is actually a diagram with various rows and columns. Yeah. So by taking sequences and maps, where all the rows and columns out of this map of complexes or eject in in C or in so in in the bigger category A. So with this, so we have this chart eject, this eject category, and then there are two functors. We have actually three functors. So given an object E, we have source of it, and then total object of it, and quotient of it. So we have three eject functors. Say source. So we have eject functors. Yeah. So we have these eject functors such that. Let's say in the E looks like uh, well this S means source of this sequence E total object of E and then yeah so these three functors and edit eject functors and edit, editivity theorem says that. So uh, we have this morphism. So okay, so. Actually, functor that this pair S and Q so first it's C to C, yeah, takes source and quotient morphism induced a homotopy equivalence. Of two constructions. Means look at the functors, functor induced, and two constructions of these, and then uh, take 
nerve and then realization that should be metabolic reactions specific yeah. and this would mean in turn So, mutual functorial. Uh, this and yeah, okay. There is one more thing I want to say. Okay, so let me write. And hence, hence maps of homomorphisms of a group. So, S star, Q star. K I S C to K I C. Okay, so there are these two maps, and they have one more property. So we have these two maps. Okay. Yeah. So this, this such that. Uh, so we also have our t eject functor t from s c to c so yeah so we have so okay uh, okay so here i should be careful the way i write yeah so okay i can package them together to get functor like this and then we have these two and then again i can i will projections to get these functors yeah and also then we uh, we also have our t star the total object of a complex in a way yeah? so the point is so then these induced maps so we can add them these are maps of groups and also we have this t star so we have t star equals this sum okay? so this is additivity in the sense from a, an eject, we start with an eject category, part category of start, co start complexes, then we have these three functors. So, uh, the induced map from uh, on k groups of uh, category of start complexes to k groups of C from these three functors, they satisfy this kind of additivity. for all I. Yeah. So this is additivity. So uh, in a way uh, we have k theory of complexes and k theory of uh, so short complexes on and in an eject category and Theory of that eject category and then the relations among the three functors. So, uh, unless we go through some proofs, I guess you immediately we immediately don't see where do we use this. So, I would say maybe try to go through projective bundle theorem quickly and see what the So the next result is resolution theorem, and that we will quickly see how we can use it. And all other results also that will come, uh, the visage and localization, those also we will see. So in a way, this is useful result. It's in it's used in many of these proofs if we go through them. Yeah. Just on its own, we don't immediately see how to use it. The next theorem is resolution theorem. So for this, 
let's say we are in this situation where we have an eject category okay and a full additive sub category which is closed under extensions Uh, then P itself is an eject category, and this inclusion is an eject counter. Yeah. For example, uh, you can look at the R in case of Madhuri and Venice. So the resolution theorem says this. In this setting, uh, assume these two. So the first assumption is that if we have uh, an eject sequence like this, And let's say these two terms are in P, then third one then prime has to be in P. This we assume this. And we also assume uh, that each object in M has a finite resolution by objects from P. The resolution means eject sequence. So let's say zero pn some finite resolution. Yeah, resolution by objects in P. Then this inclusion. I induces a homotopy equivalence. Yeah. So this is the content of resolution theorem. So in a way, if you can resolve objects in the bigger category M through objects in the smaller eject subcategory, then K theory is so for K theory you can use the smaller category. Let's say same so copy equivalence and hence 
these are isomorphisms induced by the inclusion. Okay. So this is the sense, this is the sense of resolution problem. That objects in here can be resolved by objects in P as, as a finite complex, then one can replace a K theory this category of objects. Here is one example of this. So we have PR, Margarine engine. Then PR are finitely generated R modules, projective, projective R modules, yes, this is big gap. And it satisfies condition one without any presumption. Yeah. And so it's one of the descriptions of what it means for a ring to be regular. So, and if R is regular, then in fact, it's yeah, one, one way to say what regularity means that each finitely generated projective R module has a finite resolution by projective, sorry, each finitely generated R module has a finite resolution by projective integrated projective R and we have isomorphism of K theory of R and G theory of R. Yeah, so in case of Noetherian regular rings, we get same theory, okay, and K theory and G theory. Okay. Next one is the visage. So Debussard, I don't know how do we try to explain it's French word, which means maybe opening up, expanding things. I don't know, unscrewing, but it's a kind of induction. Yeah, Nigerian induction. Sometimes. So the setting is. So this is now in the setting of abelian pedigrees. So we have abelian pedigrees. And B is full abelian subcategory. Which is uh, closed under lots of things. It's a natural assumption, but anyway, we're pursuing this. Closed under sub objects, quotients, finite products.
in, in A. Okay. And let's assume that each object in A has filtration uh, of, of a particular kind. Is it finite filtration? Okay, in this line, so the zero and zero. And such that each successive quotient is in B. Okay. Then this inclusion induces homotopy equivalence. So inclusion. And hence, isomorphism of K theory. Isomorphism. Okay, so so this is the visage in the sense, uh, yes, yeah, some kind of induction. So objects, if one could uh, get a filtration of those in a way that successively quotients are coming from the smaller category, so each object should have such filtration, then this inclusion gives us or allows us to replace K theory of the bigger category by K theory of smaller category. Okay. So final theorem is localization, and then we look at an application. This Debussage and localization immediately. Uh, yeah. uh, do you have any questions? So again, we have some abelian category. And B, yeah. But the full abelian subcategory, again, closed under Subobjects and quotients yeah, and extensions. So there is a bit of difference in the adjunctions. So be careful. So this B is full.
बुलियन सब कैटेगरी सब ऑब्जेक्ट्स क्वेश्चंस एंड एक्सटेंशंस सो सच सब कैटेगरीज आर कॉल्ड शेयर सब कैटेगरी then one can form quotient of these a by b by another abelian category and there is an exact sequence of categories so then material counter after the one material edited function in fact we want to insert something it's a p the kernel and to define object y this market to be so maybe quickly i would say something about this so this quotient had objects same objects as b but morphisms uh, are defined in a way by yeah Uh, localizing in some sense, yeah. So here is description of morphisms. So objects are same, okay. and morphisms. Let's say yeah so here uh, this co-limiting system is i mean just quickly writing this but it needs some you know amount of checking yeah but this means actually yeah means that m prime Uh, okay, so M prime prime is a subobject of M prime, which is a subobject of M, and M prime. So just be, be careful. The subobject of M prime prime, and M, which is subobject of M, and then there are various maps on those two basic subobjects category. We see that if we map this way, and then this will give us maps. Uh, from one prime prime to an over, and there is a composition which will make sense and turns this into an abelian. Yeah. So we have an exact sequence of exact functors. So we have this p, and its kernel kernel is b. so this uh, these exact functors in fact induce homotopy fibration of two constructions so that's the localization theorem 
which can be used in many situations. Do say what I could have this. Up to constructions. And that would mean the long eject sequence of k groups of these three abelian groups. So we can go like this. So let's say we start with this. Yeah. Uh, did I do something? And then it would go to the I minus one and it will continue. Yeah. This is part. Yeah, so this is localization theorem and it's kind of useful, immediately useful. Yeah. So, yeah, so these are kind of basic theorems and the point is all these have kind of reasonably involved proofs. Yeah, so one has to yeah, own these results on their own intentions. Yeah. So this result is uh, one application of whatever we have done here, some of these theorems to describing higher K theory of rings, higher G theory of rings. So this is fundamental theorem of K theory for rings.
so we assume so this is part written in terms of g theory a is an abelian then there are natural isomorphisms natural means inferiority with respect to ring maps So first one is also Mutapi invariance of G theory. This is induced by change of rings. And the second one is so usually the second one is what we call fundamental theorem of G theory, K theory. So this localization of this polynomial ring, its G theory can be given expressed in terms of G theory A. So here, if i is one, then zero means we I mean g minus one is zero. When i is zero, then this is zero. In, in, in so, assuming this, I will try to sketch a part of this state isomorphism. Okay. So, we apply Uh, localization theorem and also uh, the visage to see this isomorphism. So, what we do is if we look at this abelian subcategory, yeah. So, we have, yeah, so consider, consider, let's say M. Subcutting D. B subcategory of finitely generated modules for AT, which are actually annihilated by some power of T. Of modules annihilated by some power of then uh, this is yes, kind of simple enough competitive algebra with some category theory. So, then one can identify the quotient uh, as 
yeah add uh, this category m a t t inverse so that's one part so this i would let you read i think it's a good reading in some sense right allow us to see through this this construction of localization of abelian category by self Good. So that's one identification which I wouldn't say anything about. And the second thing is one can also identify at least K theory of B or G theory of B with G theory of A. So maybe I'll say something about. So what happens now? So let's say we assume this identification. Okay. Then by localization theorem, we have So it would go. So this is our question category. So we can replace its K theory by K theory of this, which is G theory of this thing. Let's see. So it would be. So this is the fiber. So this would be the kernel. So at the moment, it would be. So, okay. so G. So basically, our sequence is sequence of K groups, and these K groups are also written as G groups. So here we still have at the moment K I F B. Yeah. and then from here to g i f or a t and here to present again question which we identify with this this could be identify with Repeats. Okay, so it repeats. The next objective is to quickly see. How we identify this with the G theory of K? Then by the result so the idea is exactly so the thing is modules at modules which are annihilated by some power of t they can be basically looked at at a modules with yeah uh, they can be given filtrations by uh, at modules which basically could be thought of as coming from A through this map A to A T, so that's the idea. 
to how do we do this? Yeah. And another thing is by one, we can also replace this by GIA. Yeah. So basically, once we identify this with GIA, then this with GIA again, uh, then so here we have GIA, GI of A T T inverse, GI minus one A, and from this we can read the second part of fundamental theorem. So, okay, so that's what we keep in mind for the very end. So let's try to see how we identify this with G3. Okay. So the point is, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we identify Uh, or at least we give a filtration of yeah. So we give this is how we write. So let's say we have some M in B. So that means it's an AT module and it's a generated AT module annihilated by some power of T. So zero is also loud. Okay. So uh, then we look at this. Sub modules. So we look at the example with zero, sixteen M. So this is M. Okay. So we have a sequence of sub modules of M. Yeah. And each portion each successive portion one can see is killed by T. Yeah. This is T. So that means then such modules, each quotient, so such quotients can be identified with, yeah, uh, what do we say? So such quotients are extended from A. To eighty modules, yeah. Okay, and again, finitely generated projective. So that means. Yeah, so yeah. so with this we have yes, how do we see with this identification yeah. then A has a full abelian sub category of B. Okay. And here objects in here have Filtrations, so that successive quotients are coming from this. Yeah. So by Debussy, yeah, we have G th K theory of B, same as K theory of M A, which is G theory of A.
So we see that yeah so so we have identified k theory of b with g theory of a and now using a uh, motopin invariance let's rewrite our uh, long digit sequence of coming from localization So it would be and here also. So this was our KIB, which becomes GIA. This was GIAT, which becomes GIA again through map of rings A to A T inducing this isomorphism. Let's call this yeah. Okay, so continue. So the point is yeah. The so first thing to notice is that actually uh, this map, yeah. So this map one can write like this also. The factorization, but yeah. So we have our G theory of K, and then we have this map. How if we identify with this? And then we have and here this map is induced by this composition of games. This we need a small vision. Where I, okay, I start with the induced map of this composition A to AT to this localization. This change, a change of rings. Okay. And then some basic computable algebra. Uh, some bit of logical algebra will actually show that this map I star is actually split injection.
Okay. So, and that would mean F is also split in, in that sense. And then this will tell actually if we go back to our long object sequence, it will tell actually this group is isomorphic to some of uh, okay, so it's not from this, but from long eject sequence, it will be isomorphic to G i a plus G i minus one. Okay. question here okay okay so you told that uh, the induced map i star is a split injection right uh, that actually needs some some proof yeah this. okay so if i take that uh, that is a split injection then uh, i mean uh, then how can it uh, if f should be split injection right yeah, so if this comes, if this commutes, and if I is a split injection, then mm -hmm. uh, yeah, then I, I guess if you think a little, then that should imply that actually F is also a split injection. Yeah? Okay. So yeah. GI. Okay, 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 okay. So you use that isomer. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. I. I think I'll stop here. I wanted to write the resistance complex also, but I guess maybe uh, it's not just so quick to write in a way. All right, then, are there any questions? Uh, hi, uh, I had a okay. question about uh, the Q construction from. Mm -hmm. uh, am I audible? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I had a yeah. So uh, last week when you uh, talked about the Q construction, that looked very similar to uh, basically Bhagya's roof construction for derived category. I'm sorry? Is this just a coincidence or something? Which construction? Uh, that looked like the roof. The Q construction mm -hmm. looks like the roof construction of Bhagya. So is this a coincidence or is there something going on in the background? Oh, so roof construction is more for maybe translated categories, no? Uh, uh, if there is something like a uh, fibration cofibration type, yeah, but you can also do it for any model category or any uh, homotopy category, right? Yeah, not I don't necessarily know. triangulated. Yeah, okay, so I don't know. The honest quick answer is I don't know. I have to think. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay, and another question about today's talk. So, so at the end, when you were replacing these maps, like in the long exact sequence, and you were replacing it by GIA, etc. So you you also need to prove that the isomorphisms are well behaved with respect to the boundary. That's part of the proof, I'm guessing. Like the long exact sequence is a boundary map. That is not usually functorial so uh, okay so here um, yeah so when you are replacing the objects yeah so actually right. we are here so the isomorphism should yeah uh, but okay so it's true usually boundary maps are not functorial so here yeah, so that's an extra condition usually. It, it commutes with boundaries and extra condition in general. Mm -hmm. So the point what we have here is so this map, yeah, and we want to show that this yeah. is a split injection. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So for this no, actually even before that, even we have already replaced uh, the previous long exact sequence by GIAs, right? Okay, yeah. So this. So the uh, first time. 
Yeah, the, that replacement, those isomorphisms like the KIB with GIA, those isomorphisms must commute with the boundary maps or something like that. Okay, so I guess, so the groups we can replace like this with these groups. Yeah. And, and, yeah. When, and when we, yeah, so, yeah, so, and when we see how the, this isomorphism or this uh, equivalence of pedigrees we get from portion to this, yeah. Okay. Then I, sure. I guess then one can see actually this induced map is exactly what you get, you get to bound. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I was guessing it, it must be the part of the proof. Okay, yeah, thank and you. And then here I guess here also a similar thing happens. So what we have done here, actually here it was 80. Yeah. So we had isomorphism from yeah. GIA to GIAT to this. So GIAT. Yeah. So here also actually here in a way boundary is not even coming, not even in the picture in this part. Yeah. So boundary question is in in, in this part in a way when we made the replacement yeah the previous one yeah sure, sure. here actually it's not even bound it's a boundary doesn't even come and yeah here we have basically gat and then here we have gi yeah so not this part but here boundary comes in and then that we one checks that actually yeah once we identify the person category with this with M A T T inverse, then other constructions match. Okay. Yeah. Are there any more questions? There is something in the chat. Are there any sufficient conditions in the sub categories such that the long eject sequence of localization? Ah, okay, so yeah, I mean, in a way, this uh, so our application is very specific to this ring, the, the situation of rings. So we were kind of able to rec recognize all these categories, but in general, I don't think one could possibly write down the conditions. I'm not aware of. Like if one tries to uh, get, yeah. So for example, maybe G theory of schemes. So one could try to see. So then this should work even for G theory of schemes, some version of fundamental theory. But uh, if one does K theory of abelian categories in a way that we have this localization theorem, long eject sequence. That is splitting in general, I don't know. All right, so with this, we end the session. In fact, uh, this is this was the last lecture on the second section, higher algebra K theory of rings. In the coming, uh, sections, we are going to see details of these theorems. In particular, we have just sketched some, some theorems for the K-theory of abelian categories, K-theory of fully nested categories without much details. So what you are going to have is some dedicated lectures on those particular categorical K-theories. The next lecture would be on the K-theory of monodal categories by Professor Sharan. Uh, so hold on till that you can expect to have some better resolutions to these ideas. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Professor, for delivering this wonderful lecture in our school. Uh, thanks very much. Actually, it was also a good experience for me to go through all these after quite some time. I have not been teaching these things to anybody. So some of the little things I might forget as well, unless I anybody unless I use them all the time. Hmm. It's an opportunity for me also. And thanks a lot for your efforts. And yeah. Share the notes with us. Sure. Yeah. All right, then. See you next week. Sure.